G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, what have we got in store today? Well, today we're gonna to be taking a look at SharePoint Search, uh, Manage Properties, the PNP Search web parts, uh, and also uh, part of the PNP Search web parts that are critical to uh, customizing search results, and that is this concept of slots, all right? So being able to utilize these to then display some information on these search cards. So let's, uh, enough talking, let's jump into the video video and the deep dive. So we can see here on the screen that this kind of doesn't look like SharePoint. Now this is uh, Microsoft Loop inspired. So there's a custom template that I've created and developed here um, that was a requirement to make it look and feel a little bit like Microsoft Loop. So that is this custom template that we've built inside of, well, on top of the PMP search web parts. Now you'll also notice here, and this is what we're going to use as our example, is this little uh, pill here that says must read. So this must read column is a piece of metadata that we've got uh, attached to our site pages library, uh, and then also is part of, or we've created a placeholder that we're gonna use our slot for. So let's have a look at the architecture here. So I'm going to go to my site pages library. Now you can see here that on this site pages library, I've got this additional site column that I've added that is called must read. So if I jump into a news article here, so let's just say this one here, and I'll go to the properties of this particular page or this article, you'll be able to see that I've got a custom property here that says must read, and I can either toggle that to yes or no. Now that's what is determining the visibility of this little pill here. And we'll jump into that in, in a second. Now, that site, uh, that site column is also then mapped to what we call a managed property. So here we can see that I'm inside, and this is at the tenant level, I'm inside the search schema, and I've got, well, what is presented and given to you, uh, a stack of blank and open, what we call refinable strings. So this refinable string here, we need to use these managed properties to be able to utilize those in our search experiences and use them to provide that type of functionality. So this refinable string is mapped to this crawled property called must read. All right, so now we can use this property called refinable string in our search uh, solutions and our search web parts. Now, if I jump back onto my news card here, and I'll pop this page into edit mode. Now, first of all, let's talk about what a slot actually is, all right? Now, it is part of the PNP and it's a concept and it's part of the PNP web part. So if I jump into the properties of this web part here, you can see that I'm in the PNP search results and I've got layout slots and I can customize these. But what is a slot, first of all? Well. A slot, as I said before, is a very important part of this overall solution, and it does become really handy when we're creating our own layouts. Now, it's a mapping. What it does is it provides a mapping between a data source, which is our managed property, and a placeholder variable used in our layout templates, which is where that, that pill comes into play. Um, and that's using that concept. So slot definitions, uh, in our templates are going to be replaced dynamically by the underlying fields. Now, why would we want to use these? Well, they do allow us to get our data source, whether it's custom or built in, to work with all the templates without the need to refactor them and adapt them to the data source specific fields, all right? So it really is a, a convenient time-saving feature um, to make our templates reusable. Now, there are a number of, um, uh, slots that are made available out of the box. And then you can also define our custom slots. So if I jump into this customize option here, you can see that this panel flies out and we've got a stack of different mappings. We've got our slot name and we've also got our slot field. Now the slot name is what is that placeholder inside of our template. Down the bottom here, you can see that I've got this must read slot name. And on the right hand side, that is mapped to that refinable string 00, which is the, the managed property that we just saw before. That is the, the, that crawled property then is integrated into as well. 
Now, if I just bring this over into this window, we can see that this is, these templates are built using handlebars, right? I know uh, we're not gonna go into the technical details of this. This template will be made available to you as well. So if you go to um, sharepoint.danielanderson.io forward slash uh, loop search template, then you can actually grab this template that we're using here. You can grab that for free and then you can start to utilize this template in your uh, search results as well. But that is the, the, the format, right? So we've got a slot name there. So if I scroll, if I just move this across, you can see that this must read refinable string. And if we save this now, that is going to then display any any page or any news article that has got that set to yes, we're displaying that in our must read in that particular position. Now, these templates that we create, we actually store these in a central location. And you can see uh, in this particular uh, site here, I've just got a document library that I've called search templates. Here's my, my news card. And inside of that news card is the construct and the styling and the slots and the placeholders and everything like that. So if I open this up, we can quickly, we'll be quickly uh, be able to see what that, what that slot looks like, all right, and, and how that is dynamically filled out. So if I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here. Now, it doesn't matter that you don't understand this code or HTML or CSS or anything like that. Um, because as I said, you can go ahead and grab this template for you. Now you can see that we've got the summary, we've got the author, we've got the email. And if I scroll up here a little bit further, we've got the title, we've got the thumbnail. Um, and if I go uh, up a little bit, we can see that all of these uh, placeholders or slots are there by default, or not by default, but but are part of this uh, part of this template. Now you can see that I've got this line here. So if the must read equals yes, we're going to display that pill of must read. So that's how it kind of all ties in together. So as you can see, slot the, this concept of slots with the PMP web parts does become really powerful. It, it means that you can create uh, and produce some really uh, effective displays of your content. Uh, and if you've got your managed properties and your refinable strings and all of your crawled properties and metadata uh, set up correctly uh, in the back end, we can then create these type of templates. Okay, so there we go. Slots in the PMP search web parts, extremely powerful their mappings between a name and a data source, and we can use those to display on our custom templates like we can see there. So once again, if you do want this template for free, head over to sharepoint.danielanderson.io forward slash loop search template, and you can pop your email address in and I'll send this template directly to you. Uh, and you can start to use that in your SharePoint site and your search experiences. Once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.